Welcome to Better Connecticut. I'm Kara Sundlin. Scott Haney here. Nice to see you. How are you? I'm good. It's like Friday Eve, as Nicole would say. It was 32 degrees in parts of the state this morning. Todd and Colebrook got down to 32 degrees, and there was frost and a little bit of ice on his car. I know. I got to that phase where my hands, like, they're cold. They're never going to warm up. It's just once it starts getting cold, my fingertips stay cold. So have season. you turned on the thermos, uh, the uh, furnace? Have no. you turned it on? No. But I, I it. might come on sometime. I don't know that it's completely off. <laughs> You know that I use my seat warmers in July. <laughs> I know. It's cr just absolutely crazy. All right. So the New People magazine is hitting newsstands, and there's a lot of articles that people are talking about. Viola Davis, Davis is on the cover. She's talking I about. I felt bad for her after reading but you know all what? the she, stuff. She gained strength. Yeah. But she said, you know, she really never thought beauty was something that she was when she was younger. She just didn't identify with that. But um, Felicity Huffman. She's in there, is too. Is quoted there. And that she's not disappointed or relieved about the outcome of the case. And, you know, she's been, of all the people, it, they say she's the most sympathetic figure because she took responsibility, she felt badly, she pled guilty, but she says she's not disappointed or relieved about the outcome. She's contrite and humbled and accepts it. She's resigned to the fact that she has to serve her sentence and pay her dues to society. So it remains to be seen what will happen with other people when and they come down the line. Demi Moore, she uh, feels bad about the years when she wasn't healthy. Demi feels bad about the years when she wasn't healthy. Her, her life was just chaos, says the source about Demi Moore retreating uh, from the spotlight to focus uh, from her on her health and to heal. That, I was wondering where she went. She's retreating. She re she's trying to work on her well-being and her health and yeah, her sense. Every now and then I think that's good. You just pull back and you get you get it together. You know what I'm saying? You know, actually, in Europe, they will, in Germany, I know, uh, I was watching some documentary, they send you, when you're suffering from depression and stuff, they send you to the spa, they put you, they, we fed good food, you rest. S speaking of the spa, I treated myself yesterday to a massage. You did? I did. Did you like it? I did. It was really intense. The you did a deep one? Deep. His name is Blake, and he, uh, he's got to be 6'7 and 250. I mean, the, the man was just b uh, 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 unbelievable. He was terrific. So if you're interested, let me know. I'll send you the link. <laughs> S. Haney. S. Haney at WFSB.com. This is such an amazing story. You know, I, I want to go back because I haven't been keeping up with America's Got Talent like I usually do, but Cody Lee is the winner, won the whole the thing. The whole thing. And maybe you've heard about him. He's blind and he's autistic. There he is winning. His mom, Tina, came on stage. His audition was so amazing because he could barely speak to the judges. She had to explain his disabilities. But Wow when he sings. Wow when he sings. He sets. Not only does he play the piano, obviously from uh, from memory because he can't read. He's got no sight. And he's autistic on top of it. So he was very, I, 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 I just incredible when he sat down to sing. Let's listen. Can we listen to just some of his uh, voice? I've sung a lot of songs and I made some bad rhymes. It's just That was the audition. Yeah. Immediately got the golden buzzer. You got to go to YouTube and watch even more of his song. I have goosebumps. It, right? Me too. Oh, yeah, it, it's so incredible because when they were trying to talk to him, he could barely get a word out to the judges. Exactly. Then he sits in front of a piano and look at look at Simon's face. They're all. It's they're just all incredible. Like, everybody just everybody who him. has seen this video has the same reaction. Well, is he that good? And yes, he is that good. He won the whole thing, the whole kit and caboodle. But you know, as a mom, I was looking at her and I have so much respect for this mother because I thought, wow. She said when he started to play music, she just lit up because she goes, oh my gosh, he's an entertainer. Right. And just how wonderful his mom saw his abilities, but isn't it, and not it, his you know, disabilities. We were talking about this too, about the music, how it just brings. It can unlock people. It, un it literally unlocks people. And God, I know music has helped me in my life so many times. Absolutely. So that's good. We're, we're very proud of him. Congratulations. It's just amazing. Now, if, <laughs> you want fries with that or you want your socks with that? I don't get this whole thing. McDonald's is giving away free lounge they're, wear? They're celebrating Mick Delivery Night on September 19th, okay, okay, today. So they're giving away clothing and accessories when you order from Uber Eats so you can have the ultimate Lazarone evening. You order your McDonald's, Uber Eats delivers it with you to you and you get loungewear to put on and eat it. <laughs> do you have to do you have to pay extra for the loungewear? It just comes with the No, front. I think it's free today. Free yeah. today. Yeah. Okay. So it encourages you to order McDonald's from Uber Eats. 